What is up, bass heads? It is your boy here. You know who this is. Coming to you direct. Down here was uh, wanting to do another video. I got some time right before work uh, to give y'all a little update of what's going to go on now that everything was sold. You know what I mean? And technically, it didn't take that long to get rid of everything. I just be in a hurry. I technically had all winter, you know, to get rid of all the equipment. Like last December is when I got rid of all the um, MDAKs and my uh, HDs. And December, they they all got sold. But uh, just the other day, <clears throat> a guy came from, in from Wheeling, West Virginia, Paul Moner, and brought seven of the slaps amps and eight eight of the twelve and he would have brought eight of the amps if there if there was eight available but uh one of my homeboys uh, uh Dre uh you know he brought two of them and uh speaking of Dre you know he just he's never gonna use those slaps he might try them out briefly maybe because Dre likes to collect equipment he, like some collectors like collecting certain things. He collects equipment, like literally. He got amps and subs and stuff that he never even used. He just bought them and put them away. Which uh, we talked about what's going to happen is uh, he's going to end up putting up a whole lot of stuff he's never used at all. I'm talking about 20K amps and everything up for sale, and I'm going to help him do it. Uh, uh, pretty soon, so you're going to start seeing me posting, you know, I mean, up amps and subs and all kinds of car audio stuff that he never used. He had stored away for years and never even opened. Like, he bought amps and opened it up and looked at them and closed the box. You know what I mean? Period. So, just look out for that. You know what I mean? But, anyway, uh, Dre's the one to help me remove these subs. And I'm showing you this chamber, how this chamber is built, people, or base heads. How my chamber looks on the inside of it, okay? How it's actually made. You see how this thing is made? It's not just a flat square chamber. See all that bracing? You see this? It doesn't move. It doesn't... I'm, <clears throat> it don't move even without... This all thread in, uh, it's four layers thick, bro. Four layers thick. You understand now? This actual chamber here, me and a guy named uh, 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 PJ, PJ Moore. PJ lives in Astrobula. Okay? We actually redid this whole chamber, me and him, and I, we did it at his house out in Astrobula back in 2016. Okay, uh, he taught me into redoing it because the first chamber that was ever, well, wall that was ever done in his car was done by me and um, Ed Nuttle of Team Nuts. I did the first wall in this Delta 88 because beforehand, all I would do was no walls in here myself. I would just build the boxes, you know what I mean, and have somebody help me just sit it up on a platform. Okay, and then and then I would bolt it to the platform so it wouldn't move, and I would uh, run whatever I was running, eight tens firing up, uh, four twelves firing up, yada yada yada, and always had the port in the front, you know, and had the uh, batteries and everything laying back here, and all this that and the other before I finally did a wall in two thousand seven, right before Spring Break Nationals, which. Ed Nuttall and his wife, Nina, who owns Team Nuts, they talked me into doing a wall. I was staying away from walls at that particular time because I wanted everything to be easy in and easy out if I ever had to change anything. You feel me? Okay. And then I finally got a wall and had the 12s going straight across the top like that with a port in the middle. Boom. And then went from there. So the, every time I changed a baffle in that chamber, I would uh, cut the, the baffle out myself. 
you know, just cut this out and take a sledgehammer and all that and beat the rest out and boom, boom, boom. Like, I'm going to end up doing this. It's like, either I'm going to keep this or do it over because, I mean, me and uh, Dre had an issue getting one of the subs out because the screw was hard to get the screw out here and we damn near, we had to pry the sub out. <laughs> and it, I mean, how much damage could it actually do with four layers? It ain't like it can't be used over, just rip this a little bit, but there's a wood filler and all of that that can fix the stuff. You know what I mean? Yada, 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 and, and uh, uh, you know, um, wood putty and all that stuff can fix all that, all the little tears that happen. But I technically want to do, cut this out and just do a whole new chamber. Like I said, I'm thinking about going back to a, a top port. I get more port area with a top port. All right, the scores don't change in this car with a top port. And then all the subs are down below, which fires easily to up under the kick. So with a, a top port, if you're a kick panel a dude, then you're going to get better scores under the kick. Me and my teammate, Don Ward, talked about this. You know what I mean? My kick scores are going to be better with, this, with all the subs downward anyway. You know what I mean? So, if I decide to do, let me walk to the other side. Y'all ought to know I still got these. You know, it'll, it'll be it'll be a, 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 a 90, to, 90 degree Christmas day when I decide to get rid of these. Because like I said, I've got the most power out of any amp I've ever used. These gave me the most power, 8,800 watts. I got out of these. I'm going to explain something else to y'all, too, that I should have started explaining first. So I'm coming to the other side. You know, this port here is like 220 square inches uh, wide, 17 and a half inches deep. Okay, I'm going to get back to that port. We're looking in this chamber again. See, I mentioned to y'all, it's 17 inches from the hair back and 30 inches from the front to back, up top, and what it does, and how it comes down, and then you got, you see, you see I'm trying to show this to y'all? That's how this chamber is, and it's resin. It is fiberglass resin, and glass matted, but it never was sanded, and smoothed out. And you know, I guess that all of that makes a difference in how the air flows through, yada, 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 and no, I did not round. The back of this is not rounded. This, double, this is a double layer. Port too. It's like everything's thick. It's double layered here. You know, like I said, four layers here. You know what I mean? Roof and all of that is done. And uh, getting this out with a chainsaw will be a piece of cake, technically. I just have to hammer on some stuff. Yada, yada, yada. You know what I mean? And then I got to decide. Now, I came over to show y'all this area right here. Now, an HD or a, or an um, X-Max or whatever was a little bit too big. If you look on it, you'd be like, oh, 12 can fit there. Uh, I, I tried to measure it once before because I was going to uh, cut a hole there and put an extra HD there at one time. Okay, let me show what you where the amp would have went. And I'm still thinking maybe 912s and add another amp. See, I'm, I'm thinking I have enough time to brainstorm. Because there'll be three twelves going across there, three twelves there, and three twelves there. All I would have to do on the next bath was maneuver the uh, speakers a little bit, and then there would be room. And then especially since the ones that I'm getting is going to be a tad bit smaller in diameter than, the, than you know, the ones I had in here. Another amp. Can fit right here, turn sideways. Another one of these, right there. I just put another board, mount another board up against there, and it'll sit right on the side, either side. And y'all can move those. Uh, you see those um, uh, VFL, them little mini two fifty 
point fours there. I can slide those over over there a little and make more room and then get an at one of these on the side if I decided to go that route I'm thinking about it or just keep my A twelves. You know what I mean? If I do six fifteens in here with a top port, now can six fifteens actually fit on this baffle? I have a template. I have a template at home of the top port and the side port template. Okay. And I have laid cutouts on them templates with the 15s. If I do 615s with a top port, then I'll lose some cone area because the 15s are quite a bit taller. I'll lose some port area. That's what I'll lose. And I see that in a lot of guys' bills, man, some of people got like multiple subs and a small port and it's still loud. <laughs> if you know what I mean, but um uh, you know. Uh I would like to have, you know, enough port area. If two hundred and sixty eight square inches of port area is enough for six fifteens, but I wouldn't have two hundred and sixty eight square inches. With the 15s because they're tall. They'd be taller. So they would take away that port area. If I tried to fit them 615s with the side port, maybe I can get them to fit if I, you know, stagger them and all of that. So it's just a thought. But let's, like I said, I can keep this uh, wall up and paint it, repaint it, and, you know, and then put those uh, speakers I'm going to get in here. But these but these holes are a little big, too, because those speakers I'm getting are, are they're not 11 and a half inch cutouts, them 12s. So, with that being said, I got to put my head together about this. You feel me? Okay, I wanted y'all to see that. Let me just shut and how strong this thing is. It don't move. Even without the bracing, it doesn't move. Let me move all this back. Turn the light out. Shut the door. And get to talking. So 12 minutes in. I like to make these about a half hour for Facebook's sake. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Shut these doors, people. So, yeah, my man uh, came from Willie and brought everything. You know what I mean? And uh, we talked to him because he was going to run one amp or two of those speakers. And he would have had to break the impedance down. And then hoped that the amps gave him enough power to run the speakers. No, we talked to him. We was like, man, you better put an amp per. And so right then and there, he's like, I'll buy your last three. And then he cashed at me the money right then and there. He's a straight up guy, Paul. Everybody else was playing low ball games with me, you know, across uh, Facebook Marketplace and just playing games, window shopping, reindeer games, you know, acting like they was going to buy something just to get information. And then they would disappear off the Richter. You know what I mean? So I got into the real clean habit of just blocking cats because every time they played a game, I blocked them. I got rid of them. You know what I mean? Those are the guys that will never buy nothing, and they never plan to buy anything. They just was going to keep playing. I was like, okay. So I just blocked them. I was like, y'all want to play? I'll play. And got rid of them. So when me and my man Dre start posting up all of this uh, brand new unused stuff that he has, and cats start playing, I'm going to make it, uh, uh, when I put that post up, I'm going to say, if you come lowballing, or acting smart, or getting smart, you know what I mean. Or acting like you know more than the, than, than than the people that are selling. I'm gonna block you. I'm gonna I'm gonna t give you a warning and let you know that too. I was like, you come on here being smart, man. You just disappear. Period. Because I had cats getting smart with me as well. Like literally. Yeah, coming on and getting smart, like they knew what I had better than I knew what I had. And all of that, and it wasn't buying. So I started hitting a block. But y'all don't know how many people I ended up blocking on, on Marketplace, bro. I was blocking people left and right. I was going right to their profile. Because they would show you who the, who the, who the uh, 
person that wants to buy is. And I would go right to their profile and block them and get rid of them. I wasn't friends with none of them anyway. <laughs> so I would just block them. I want to play, man. Don't, don't even ask questions if you want to play. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. And another thing. Okay, I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty now that the speakers are sold. I had the HDs in here last year. I did 162s with the HDs now. The HDs wasn't as much power as the X-Max Monsters. Okay, wasn't as heavy as the X-Max Monsters. Okay, yada, yada, yada. All right. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this, though. The X-Max Monsters demo-wise got down, and there was one, a couple of things that was wrong when I got those. All right? When I was reading uh, what impedance the speakers was from the amps, from I'm talking about when I had the slaps in there as well. I was reading what the impedance was from the amps of the speakers. Okay? And one of the amps was reading... 1.2 ohms when it should have read half ohm. And I was like, why is it why is that reading that? Brand new subs. Okay, so with that being said, okay, um one of my base head buddies, uh Mike Mack, he's like, well check check them when you pull the subs out, so to check them outside of the of the amps, but technically they should read the same thing, rather they're in the amps or out of the I mean in the amps. Or connected to the amps or disconnected from the amps, it should still be accurate. Still. Okay. So when we pulled them out, I was like, let me check the impedance of these uh subs because I'm a businessman, dude. I don't want to sell a bad sub to anyone. And it's not supposed to be bad because I only played the speakers maybe three or four times. I said I didn't blow up anything. Okay, and like I said, it was reading. 1.2 ohms, and the rest was reading 0.6. So when I got that speaker out, it come to find out that one side of that, that speaker was not playing at all. It was just one side that was playing that whole time that I was playing them and burping them. Only one side was working, which means when I brought the subs, something was already wrong with the sub. Well, number two. Number two. When I got them subs and got them home, I drove to get them. And my boy Curtis Crawford, you know, he came over the house. And uh, I took the beauty rings off of them. One, because a couple of these holes is cut a little too close to each other. So with the beauty rings off, that, I mean, with the beauty rings on, it was overlapping. With the beauty rings off, they laid there. That's why I had the beauty rings off of them. Okay, now the next subs I'm going to get don't have beauty rings. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad they don't. Okay, I'm glad of that, all right? So, um, with the beauty rings off of them, we noticed that a couple of the uh, surrounds, like, the, you know, that you glue on to the basket, there was no glue on a couple of them. Are you listening to me? And some of the wires were shorter than the other wires. And I was like, look at this, bro. I was like, why am I kind of thinking these were refurbished? And sold as new. I was like, because what company where well, you got people working there are so lazy, they don't put no glue on them, no CA glue on them, or very little CA glue to the point where it's lifting up off the basket. So I fixed them. I corrected them myself. I, you know, resealed them overnight and all of that. And I checked the coils, you know, then... A couple of the coils are the ones with the wires short and that. And I was like, I wonder. I was like, when we get them in, we'll find out. You know what I mean? And then that one had that issue with, not, you know, the other side not working. So when Paul was on his way out, I was, I, me and Dre was talking. I was like, man, I'm going to have, I'm going to have to make this right with him because he sent me the money over Zelle and Cash App. I'm going to have to make this right with Paul. You know what I mean? Um, either... If he's going to get this speaker reconed, if he plans on doing that, then I'm going to chop the price down quite a bit more. And, you know, when he hit me up on Marketplace, now, unlike a lot of people, Paul was a little bit more straight up when he came at me. He didn't come at me all smart. And besides, he saw me at TC Customize once. He explained that, that he was there. 
from uh, West Virginia, and he only had two L7s in his uh, vehicle. And, uh, and he remembered my car and remembered who I was, even though we wasn't friends on Facebook at the time. We are now. Okay, and um, he came and he just was like, hey, man, what's the lowest you'll go? Now, I had a couple people did ask me that, but they came at me sour about that. And it caused me to get smart with him. I was like, did you read the description, bro? I was like, everything's in the description. What I actually want and what I'll take if you buy four or more, I knock 25 more dollars off of each speaker, bro. Like, I paid quite a bit more than what I'm selling them for. I only use them a, a few times. Like, come on. Everybody knows that when I sell stuff, I'm straight up and usually, you know, my stuff is like A1. I take care of my equipment, but and I barely use it, so... You know what I mean? But he came at me correctly. He's like, what's the lowest you'll go, man? So at this point, I was like, you know what? I'll drop the speakers and amps down to 250 I was like, so going from, from one uh, uh, price to another, cats should be all over this stuff now. And this is what happened. It, this always happens. I told him 250 and he was like, dude, you can't beat that. And he immediately said, man, yo, I want to get them. I'm planning to come out there, which I didn't believe him at first. I was like, he's just another dude playing games. But he was like, bro, look, I'm willing to come out there and pick him up. You know, and I got ready to say to him, hey, man, why don't you cash out me half the money so it could be a sealed deal? But I didn't say that. It might have gotten to that. And he's like, I'm going to come out. You know what I mean? So a, a day or two went by, and we was like staying in touch. And then we came up with a day he said he was going to come. But he couldn't make it that day because his, his daughter had had an accident at school. And she fell down the steps or something. And the day he was supposed to come was Wednesday evening by the time I was done working. But he hit me up and he's like, hey, man, something happened. And to tell you the truth, I didn't believe him. I thought he was uh, uh, playing games. For, I thought he was playing games. I was like, here we go. And I was like upset real, uh, technically. I was like, well, the next person that comes at me, I'm just going to sell it to them, man, because I don't know if this guy's playing, but he wasn't playing. It just so happens his daughter really did get into an accident. And he's like, why don't we move it to Thursday? And I was like, all right. But in my mind, I was like, he's not coming, man. But then um, he called back uh, Wednesday. He is back. He's like, listen. Why don't I send you the money through Cash App and all that so, you, so you'll know that I'm serious? So I felt better because of that. I was like, yeah, we, we, we need to do that. So he went on and did it, and then he did show up yesterday. He did. After the money was sent, I was like, I know he's coming. And my boy Dre came over again and yada, yada, yada. And um, that issue was going on with the sub. When he, on the phone, he, I, hit him, I hit him up to make sure he was coming. I was like, hey, man, we got a dilemma, one of the speakers. And I was like, We're gonna, I'm going to have to make this right with you, you know. If, I, if you want, don't want to get the sub, you want that money back for the sub, I'll gladly give it back. And, uh, you know, I was going to make a deal with him for an extra amplifier, was what, what was on my mind. But he was like, no, don't worry about it, man. I'll get that recom, man. You gave him to me for so cheap. I can't argue with you. I'll still take the sub. You know what I mean? And I'll just get a recon. And he was that cool. He didn't bitch. He didn't complain. He didn't start no argument or nothing. He's like, man, I will, I'll get a recon. I could get that recon. I was like, oh, okay. Well, man, okay. You know, cool. So he got over the house, brought his uh, bodyguard with him, as I call him. But it was his boy to help him. You know what I mean? And um, we, I told him, like, yo, man, if I was you, I'll put an amp per sub and he just that quick, he's like, well, fine, I'll buy the last three. I'll buy them at two. And I was like, fine. He sent me the money immediately. We, we chit-chatted a little bit. We helped him load everything into the truck. We talked about how his box was going to be built, his plans for what he wanted to do. He already has his alternators built. Boom, boom. So I know he's going to be pounding, and that was the end of that. Okay, but let's get back to it. And, and because of that... Coil, one side of a coil, one of them, that's why my score would have been louder. That's what I mean to say before I forget. My score would have been louder. I might have hit it maybe the mid-61s with them if that was not going on. That was a problem. 
with one uh, uh, side working on one of the sides, man. That had to do with, with the score. Now, some people think, oh, maybe you probably lost a half a DB, or maybe it was just Timps. One side of the side was not working, bro. Y'all figure that out. That score would have been a bigger score. That was a problem right there. Because all in all, we felt that I should have been getting good score out of those um, them, 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 uh, X-Maxes. I was thinking at least 67, something around what the ACs were doing. You know what I mean? But the ACs couldn't top those speakers in street beating, even though the ACs were loud. But those, those X-Maxes were made to play lower, and they did. They made a statement. I mean, they were shifting, uh, loose, starting to loosen stuff up under the hood and shifted this whole heavy-ass hood. <laughs> shifted it. You know what I mean? And ain't no uh, a stereo I had ever did anything like that, man. So, you know what I mean? So that was that. And um, so to my new, next subs I'm getting, I already know they're going to do work. I know that. Because they, 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 I was told them, them subs are made to be brutalized, man. That the last ones were holding up on whatever was going on with them. So I, I have confidence that those, these next subs are going to, uh, you know. So this time, I'm looking for 63s. I'm looking for 63s immediately. And that's what I felt I should have been getting. And there's some other plans I have for the uh, inside of this chamber as well. So my thought, I'm thinking 912s, which will be the same exact cone area as 418s. Okay, or just going back to 8. You know what I mean? And just hooking them up and setting everything and letting it rip. Okay? I mean, that's my plans, people. And I wanted y'all to know that once something was a matter... One of the subs, a, a whole side was not working. But like I said, Paul, you know what I mean? It seems like a real good dude, and he works. He, he works. He makes money. He's a construction guy, traveling construction guy. They make money. He wasn't worried about the money. He just brought the other three amps like it wasn't nothing. But I dropped the price down to 250 And once that happened, soon as I mentioned that, I had three amps left. People start coming at me left and right. Hey, man, I'll catch up you right now, dude. They're sold. Every time this happens, it, 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 this happens. I guess that price was like, oh, man, for 250 man, the X-Maxes are worth it now. Wow. I know you ain't coming. I want them now. Oh, only 250 for the amps now when I pay 390 for each one of them. I'll take them now, 8,001 amps. Now I want them. And I, and I, and I predicted that was going to happen because it always does. And you know what I mean? And you know, like I was, like I said, if ever, see, because see, now these, uh, Stetsoms, a lot of people's buying the Stetsoms and they're buying a, a Bravo, the, the smaller Bravo base. They look just like these, but they're smaller. They're just not the flex impedance ones. You know what I mean? Because I thought about them before I got these. But but they're, you know, on Amazon, their prices on, on those are kind of a little bit higher than the, uh, the, the uh, Terra amps. So I was going to get the Terra amps again. I was going to get them, but the dual powers and grounds. I was about to buy them straight off Amazon for the simple fact that they're... Um, uh, warranty policies is you just send it back and we'll get send you another one. <laughs> or you buy the, um, they got that, um, policy. I don't know why I keep forgetting the name of it, but they got that policy. You know what I mean? That a plan that, um, where you can pay sixteen ninety nine a month and no matter what happens to whatever you got, whether you kick it, throw it, punch it, throw it off the damn Empire State Building, they're going to give you another one and continue to do so. So I was going to hop on it that way uh, because of the warranties on them if I was going to get them again. But I got talked by Mike Mack. So talked me into getting these because Mike wanted me to be the guinea pig. I'm putting you on blast, Mike. He wanted me to be the guinea pig of these. 
Because once I did get them, tell me what they do, Soda. Tell me what they do. <laughs> uh, Mike's trying to... But Mike's doing heavy numbers, man. And he also talked me into getting the subs that I'm going to get. He talked me into them, too. Good old Mike. Got to like Mike, boy. Yeah. And he wants to join us, and I, and I don't mind him joining us. I'm just waiting for the almighty Don Ward to give the okay, which he probably will. I think he wants to get to know Mike a little bit, so that y'all probably meet at Worlds, Mike. When you see Don at Worlds, go harass him. Okay? I know it'll happen, bro. It'll happen. Hold your diapers up, as I would say. But we're coming close to me needing to get off here because I want y'all to be able to hear all of this on Facebook as I post it up on YouTube as well. I'll be getting quite a quite a bit of hits on YouTube, so I got some followers, people. So, post up your comments, y'all. I got all winter. I'm about to cover these amps up with towels like I do in this garage because it's a little cold down in there to keep them all nice and warm. All right? It's your boy, the OG, Soda Pop Kid, coming to y'all direct as usual. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, people. Peace.